We're looking at the opener on a John Deere 50 series. This is actually two and three quarter inch wide by 16 inches in diameter gauge. You've got sharp disc blades as we've already discussed. The next part is obviously the gauge wheel. And obviously the Hello, my name is Benjamin Needham with Needham Ag Technologies. And today I'm going to show you an instructional video on how to install our vanilla seed tab on 50 and 90 series seed boots. First, we will start with the 50 series boot. If you have a 50 series boot or a standard wear 90 series boot, you can use your existing bolt to install our vanilla seed tab. Once installed, the tapered side will go towards the disc and gauge wheel as seen here. On the 90 series extended wear boot, you will need to use a clip because the hole in the extended wear 90 series boot is not threaded. The clip may already be provided, but you will need a longer bolt. Again, the tapered side of the seed tab will go towards the disc and gauge wheel as seen here. We have found that the best way of installing the vanilla seed tab is by using a small electric impact like this. In this case, this is a small quarter inch drive electric impact with a 14 inch long extension and a 3 8 socket. You will tighten the vanilla seed tab as shown here by going down from the top. Once the vanilla seed tab is installed and the drill or air seeder is raised up, the V8 farming wheel will rest on the end of the seed boot and vanilla seed tab. However, when the drill or air seeder is lowered down and in field planning conditions, the farming wheel and closing wheel will be raised up out of the way of the seed boot and the vanilla seed tab as shown here. For more information about how our vanilla seed tab is much better than the competitors tabs, please go to YouTube and type in vanilla seed tab. Thanks for watching.